Hey there guys and welcome to a video about Fedora 27. Uh, as you may know this is in beta currently but we are jumping in and trying it anyway and uh, so far my experiences have been pretty good uh, minus the fact that with um, flat packs you uh, discord doesn't work and that's it discord just does not work everything else works fine Chrome file browsers um, all the packages that I usually use and install all work great. My themes work great. Uh, so far, it's going on to be one of those stable releases that, uh, you know, might steal the spotlight from some other distros. It's really good. Um, not much has really changed in this, you know, on the uh, outside here, you know. Uh, there is a new GNOME theme, which has base transparency kind of like this. Uh, it's not as good as mine. Uh, mine literally adapts to every scenario that you throw it under. So, say that, uh, you know, you do that, mine will instantly adapt with color. The other one is sort of, it's there, but it doesn't have any shadow in the back like mine does, so it's not really as defined. And that is a lot of chromatic abbreviation that just looks horrible ugly just so ugly um, now as you all know I, I, I love Hela Hela is amazing uh, daughter of Loki you know goddess of death and I'm gonna go grab her actually and put her as my desktop background because uh, she's freaking amazing and I believe I have her in my download folder. Yep, here we go. And set as wallpaper. Yeah. See, she just she just goes with every desktop, uh, including this one. And that was a voice crack you just heard. Yay. I am now back in puberty, apparently. Um, but nonetheless, the operating system does not feel like a beta. Uh, that's because they spent months and months and months and months on it. Um, I believe since the very release of uh, Fedora 26, they've been working on this nonstop. And that's been out for quite a while. Uh, they're also working on Fedora 28 in the background. So I've seen, and that's cool, definitely. You know, they want to get started ahead of all of this just to make sure their next version of their operating system is up to par with their current one. And that's pretty awesome. I like how they're doing that. It's kind of like a skip ahead branch, if you know what I mean. Uh, I've added some new stuff. Uh, you might notice we got one of these, which is basically a shortcut into settings. I actually added that as a shortcut into settings. And uh, this is one of the GNOME changes, by the way. You know, you have everything's over here instead of just out in one separate area. It's it's pretty cool. I like having it this way. You got You got the details. Door 27, disk 64-bit, GPUs Hawaii, you know, uh, user, AM to PM, and that's all well and fine, I guess. I do like these small changes, of course, but here's the thing that Arc needs, here's the thing that Fedora needs to do. Um, they pretty much need to adopt this. This is Arc. Arc is, you know, a start menu of sorts. Uh, it has more features. It's just all around better than the GNOME's natural interface. And I use it way more often. You know, I just, I don't think I can, uh, choose anything else, really. And if we go for a foot Dora icon, right? We go there and we grab this little buddy and we save it as. Uh, yeah, we're going to put that there. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to change the arc one, two, Where do we do this? None. Downloads. 
Like, it is that freaking simple. I mean, they could um, customize the hell out of this. Now, actually, I'm going to leave that because that looks pretty cool. I like that. Uh, usually, I would put a, an Apple theme there, you know, a little Apple icon. I, I like Mac OS and the way it looks. That's why mine is sort of like that. But this looks good nonetheless. So this is what uh, Fedora would look like if they used Arc. And I highly suggest if the, any of the developers managed to come across this video, which I would be very, very shocked and happy if they did. Uh, you know, I would love if they used that. And can we get rid of the arrow buttons? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. There we go. So, if you're into it, uh, download VirtualBox and try out Fedora 27. If you have VMware, try that. Parallels Desktop 13, VMware Fusion, you know, whatever your choice is. Uh, check out the operating system because it's, you know, it's definitely worth a look around, definitely worth a try. And uh, don't forget to have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.